I'm a pastor, and as well, I lead a missions organization that reaches unreached people groups around the world. This morning, in our devotion time, as we prepare our hearts for the day, we're going to be talking about the heart of a missionary and how the heart of a missionary includes this idea and this process of discipleship. This idea of discipleship brings along with it training, it brings along with it purpose, it brings along with it moving, and just like we're hearing in the background today, it's kind of the building up or the construction of the life of the believer. Yeah, so this morning we are going to look at a passage from the New Testament in the Gospel of Matthew. We are going to look and see how Jesus called his disciples and how he trained them and equipped them for the work that they were going to do in missions, spreading the gospel. So let's read this morning, Matthew 4, verses 18 through 25. Yesus Begalila Baharat Agabsial, full at Tondo Mamajo Chmalet and Petro Setavalo and Simon and now the Moon and Dreas and Ayacho. As at Wajush Nabur, Namaravacho, no de Bahari to Lunaber. Yesusum Nuta Catalin, Savachin at Majo Chadder got to Halolacho, where they are Maravacho and Tota Catalut. Aleph and Dalem, Lilo Chula Tondo Mamajo Chen is of Dios Ligia Covenant. When the Munum Yohannes and Ayak, Abatacho Casabdios Garbajal was Maravachon ever Juniper. Yasusim Taracho, where the Onujal Vachon, Mona Patachon Tota Catalu. Yasusim Bamukrabu Chacho Yastamare, Xavier Mengisti, Mr. Achkal Yasabeka, Bezbu Makakal, Manning on the Win Hamami Yafa Wasa, Bemello Galila is all Werneper. Kazim Mitanesas and now Bemello Soriatas and Mahas Boom Betelea Yubeshita or Chitama Mutten, Bekufuda Win Misak Ayutan, Aganantan at the Rubachon, Mittel Vachetel Pachon, Shabao Chenulu at their Swamatu, Fawesa Chom, Kazetanesa, Kagalila Kasuru Katamuch, Kayerusalim, Kayudana Kayordanus Matu, Do Emetu Buzusa Weshna Katal. So Jesus had just started his preaching, preaching ministry, preaching the message that. Repent, for the kingdom of heaven is at hand. Jesus Christos sabkatuni jamma ro bazino. Mengista samayat bedejine chinna. Mengista samay bedejine chinna. Nisahagbu blo ba masbak ni jamma ro. And as soon as he starts this ministry, he sets it as first importance to call disciples to follow him as he teaches them how to reach people for his kingdom. So he's walking along the Sea of Galilee and he sees two brothers out fishing and he calls to them, follow me and I will make you fishers of men. So he's calling them people who are fishermen by trade, and he says, No longer do I want you to fish for the fish that are in the sea, but I would want you to follow me, and I'm going to teach you how to fish for men for my kingdom. So in this, Jesus is revealing that there are two kinds of kingdoms that you can build. 
በዚ በዚ አደረረጉ በዚ አጠራሩ ሁለት አይነት መንግስቶች እንዳሉ ሁለት መንግስቶች እንዳሉ እያሳየ ነበር outside of christ no matter what profession you do you are building up the kingdom of yourself በከክርስቶስ ውጪ ባለው ዓለም ውስጥ ምንም አይነት ሙያ ሊኖራችሁ ይችላል ምንም አይነት ስራ ሊኖራችሁ ይችላል ግን የምትገነቡት መንግስት የራሳችሁን መንግስት ነው የሚሆነው whether that's for recognition from the people around you በያ ይሄ ለራሳችሁ በጣም ጥሩ ስም ለመገንባት በአካባቢያችሁ ባሉ ሰዎች ዘንድ ሊሆን ይችላል whether that's building up of wealth አብት ለማካበት ሊሆን ይችላል it's all building up the kingdom of yourself ይሄ ሁሉም ነገር የራሳችንን መንግስት የመገንባት ጉዳይ ነው የሚሆነው so in calling these disciples jesus says i'm taking you i'm calling you out of building the kingdom of yourself ነዚህን ደቀመዛሙር ተራቸውና የራሳችሁን መንግስት ከመመስረት አወጣችሁና and i want to teach you how to be vessels that can build my kingdom ከዛ በኋላ አስተምራችኋለሁ የኔን መንግስት እንዴት እንደምታ እንደምትገነቡ አስተምራችኋለሁ አላችሁ and so he calls them fishers of men ከዛ የሰውች አጥማጅ አደርጋችኋለሁ ብሎ ተራችሁ so jesus calls and they follow ኢየሱስ ክርስቶስ ጠራ እነሱ ተከተሉት and they walk along and pretty soon he sees two more and he calls them ከዛ ጠራቸው አብራውት መጓዝ ጀመሩ ከሱ ጋር መሆን ጀመሩ ከዛ ሌሎች ሁለት ታየ እነሱንም ጠራቸው and then what we begin to see throughout the rest of this gospel of Matthew and the rest of the gospels በዚህ ወንጌል በማቴዎስ ወንጌል ላይና በተቀሪው ማቴዎስ ወንጌልና በሌሎችም የወንጌላት መጽሐፍት ውስጥ የምናየው ጉዳይ is Jesus walking with them and Jesus living with them Jesus teaching and doing his ministry with his disciples ከኢየሱስ ክርስቶስ ከደቀመዛሙርቶቹ ጋር አብሮ ሲጓዝና አብሯቸው ሲኖር አብሯቸው አገልግሎ ሲያገለግል አብሯቸው ሲያሰለጥናቸው አብሯቸው ሲኖር ነው ምናየው so as we see this picture this morning i want you to realize two things ይሄንን ምስል ስታዩ ሁለት ነገሮችን እንድታስተውሉ ፈልጋለሁ i want you to realize that jesus as he has called you wants to build you as his disciple sorry i said as jesus has called you as a believer in christ he wants to build you as his disciple yesus christos sitarachu wedesu mengis sitarachu nanta ligenebachu emifelgaw inde wedesu deqa mezmurnet no liyasadigachu emifelgaw but then he also wants you to bring other disciples along in the same process of growth and kaza demo kenanta mitebqo betemesasa yemasaddeg menged lelochin wedezi hiwet inditamatu no that's the missionary heart ya no ya missionawi lib to not just experience the joy of jesus for ourselves lebichachin lerasachin yesus christosin desta iyatatamen indinnor bichas ayhon but to share it with others and to see Jesus grow them in this process. ለሌሎች እንድና ካፍለውና ሌሎች በዚህ ህይወት ውስጥ በዚህ ልምምድ ውስጥ ሲያድጉ ማየትንም ነው because when we do that the gospel will spread. የነን ስናደርግ ወንጌል ይሰፋል ይሰራል. it will move. ይሄዳል. and god's kingdom will be brought together. የእግዚአብሔር መንግስት ይመጣል በዚህ So we see as the story continues Jesus is walking with his disciples and he's they're going to these different places. ከሄነን ታሪኩን ቀጥለን ስናይ ከደቀ መዛሙርቱ ጋር የተለያየ ቦታ ኢየሱስ ክርስቶስ አብሯቸው ሲሄድ እናያለን and as he is teaching the multitudes or even the small groups sometimes በሄነን በሚያ ብዙ ሰዎችንም በሚያሰለጥ በሚያስተምርበት ጊዜ በከተንንሽ ቡድኖች ጋር በሚያደርገው ግንኙነት ሁሉ ውስጥ ይሄንን እናያለን His disciples are helping him in that ministry but they are also learning the truths. በነዚ ደቀመዛሙርቶቹ ይሄንን አገልግሎት እየረዱ ነበር ግን በዚህ ሂደት ውስጥ ደሞ ራሳቸውም እየተማሩ ነበር. So one of the first things that we need in discipleship ለማንዱ የመጀመሪያው ነገር በደቀመዝሙርነት ህይወት ውስጥ ለናውቀው ነው ለንማረው የሚገባን ነገር in this process of building disciples of spiritual growth ደቀመዛሙርትን የማሳደግ በእንደዚህ አይነት መንፈሳዊ ልምምድና አድገት ውስጥ ደቀመዛሙርትን ማሳደግ is we need instruction አንደኛ መመሪያ ያስፈልገናል we need to be told how to live this new life or this new calling as fishers of men የሰውጭ አጥማጅ ለመሆን የሚያስፈልገውን መመሪያና አከሄድና አደራረግ ለንማርና ለነገረን ይገባል once again we are used to walking in the path of building our own kingdom 
አሁን ማስተዋወስ ያለብን ነገር በ በየራሳችንን መንግስ በመገንባት ሂደት ውስጥ ነበር የነበር ነው and we need to learn from god in his word how to build his kingdom yeah aun kegziab here gin aun demo kegziab here yindet ne yesun mengis lingeneba yeminchilo milo linnimar igebanal so you see what jesus does next in chapter 5 and beyond is he teaches uh, the sermon on the mount and he teaches them these very specific teachings of what it looks like to be a disciple of christ ከዚያ በኋላ አሁን ከዚህ ምራፍ ምራፍ አምስት በኋላ የተራራው ስብከት ከሚባለው ስብከት ጀምሮ ኢየሱስ ክርስቶስ የሚያደርገው እያስተማራቸው ነው እንዴት የእግዚአብሔር መንግስት መገንባት እንደሚችል and what you see as he's doing is he's teaching the crowds is that he is also teaching these few close men who are walking beside him እንደምታስተውሱት በጣም ብዙ ህዝብም ተሰብስቦ በሚያስተምርበት ጊዜ ሁሉ ራሱ እነዚህ እንደ ቀመዛሙርት በመንገድ በሂደት እያስተማራቸው ነበር and they are learning now what they will later teach the, teach the churches that they are going to plant ahun yetemaru no nezi sewoch neger gin wedefit demo bemihedubetna bemitekluacho betekristian ust ullu demo miyastemrut temirten neber yetemaru yeneberu you see instruction is very important memmeria memmar minnimaro neger betam asfellagi indihone mayet tichilallachu because in instruction you see where the old life that you used to live now rubs against the new life that Jesus is trying to create in you መመሪያ አንዱ የሚያስፈልገው ነገር በመመሪያው እንደምናየው በፊት እንሄድበት የነበረ የራሳችን የራሳችን መንግስት የምንገነባው ነበር አሁን የምንማረው ደግሞ መንግስት የእግዚአብሔር መንግስት አደረረግ ሁለቱ ይፋጫሉ ሲፋጩ በመንሄድበት መንገድ ሁሉ እየተፋጩ ይሄዳሉ and you need to feel that rub or that friction or else you will continue to walk in the path that you used to live ihenin gichitna ihenin fichit kal tesemachu benebarachu bet menged bedro rasachun mengis bemegembat hidet ust no mitedu temelisachu but as jesus teaches you his way and walks alongside you in the process so as jesus teaches you his way and he not only teaches you he walks alongside you in the process jesus christos siastemrachu ማስተማር ብቻ አይደለም ደሞ በሂደት ውስጥ አብሯችሁ ይጓዛል you learn that the instruction that he is teaching you teaches you the way of this new life the way that the instruction that he is teaching you is teaching you the new pattern for this way of life as a disciple ሚያስተምራችሁ ኢየሱስ ክርስቶስ ሲያስተምራችሁ ሚያስተምራችሁ መንገድ ደቀመዛሙርቶቹ ከዛ በኋላ ደሞ የሚሄዱበትን መንገድንም ጭምር ነው አያንዳንዱን አካሄዳቸው ነው የሚያስተምራቸው one example and the misale in lezi in matthew chapter 6 matthew's miraf 6 delay verse starting in verse 5 ka qutra 5 jemro jesus teaches the disciples in one area of instruction jesus christos be and yehiwotacho be yehiwotacho guday zuri and memmeria si setacho na yalla you see when i teach the bible be mazaf qiddusin sastamir I teach the Bible as the story of Jesus. መጽሐፍ ቅዱስን የማስተምረው ልክ እንደ ክርስቶስ ታሪክ አድርጌ ነው. And how he changed the world and how he provided a way to be able to have relationship with the Father. እንዴት ዓለምን እንደቀየረና ከክርስቶስ ከአባቱ ጋር ባለው ህብረት እንዴት ዓለምን እንደቀየረ የሚያሳየውን ታሪክ. And that's true. ያ ደሞ ነት ነው. But often times unbelievers see the Bible አንዳንድ አንድ ጊዜ ግን በአብዛኛው ጊዜ በማያምኑ ሰዎች መጽሐፍ ቅዱስን የሚያዩት as just a book of don't do this don't do this don't do this do this መጽሐፍ ቅዱስን ይሄንን አታድርግ ይሄንን አታድርግ ይሄንን አታድርግ ደሞ ይሄንን አድርግ ያድርግና አታድርግ አይነት መጽሐፍ አድርገው ስቱታል but the bible is the story of jesus and not just a list of don't do's and and things that you should do መጽሐፍ ቅዱስ ግን የክርስቶስ ታሪክ ነው እንጂ ይሄንን አድርግና ያንን አታድርግ የሚል የሕግ መጽሐፍ አይነት አይደለም but jesus gives us instructions in this new life that we need to follow and sometimes he says don't do these things and do these things for your health ነገር ግን ደሞ ይሄንን سنል ኢየሱስ ክርስቶስ በሂደት ውስጥ የሚያስቀምጣቸው መመሪያዎችና በአዲሱ ህይወት ውስጥ ለናደርጋቸው የሚደገቡንን አደራረጎች ያስተምረናል ይሄንን አታድርጉ ይሄንን ደሞ አድርጉ ብሎ ያስተምረናል that's instruction ያ መመሪያ ነው የህይወት መመሪያ ነው so when so when jesus is teaching the disciples how to pray he starts off with this list of don't do's and things that you should do selezi bezi kifil ust minnayo bemiraf 6 ke qutra 5 jemro yesus christos sile tsalot yastemrachaw sijemir ihenin attadirgu ihenin adirgu bilo sinegrachaw nayalla 
He says, when you pray, do not be like the hypocrites. For they love to stand and pray in the synagogues in the street corners. That they may be seen by others. Truly I say to you that they have received their reward. But when you pray, go into your room and shut the door. And pray to your father who is in secret. And your father who sees in secret will reward will, will reward you. You see, Jesus is giving instruction here. He's saying there are people who pray and when you do, by their example, you can see they are trying to build their own kingdom. They want to draw attention to themselves. They want to lift themselves up as spiritual people amongst other people. But Jesus says, as fishers of men, as my disciples, I want you to pray to me even in secret. Because then I will know that it's out of your love for me that you want to come and communicate with me. So you see the importance of the instruction of God's word. But the second thing that we need in this discipleship process is not only instruction, but we oftentimes need to see it in action. The life of the disciple in order to see how the instruction is lived out. This is the age of YouTube. Where if you don't know how to do something, you look it up on YouTube. So if I don't know how to make injera, I can look it up on YouTube. And I can see the process of making the injera. And I can follow the video of somebody teaching me how to do it. And I will make injera. Maybe it is good. Maybe it is not so good. So then I practice. I continue imitating. Until I become good at the process. So when Jesus gives these instructions to his disciples, he not only tells them how they should live, but he is also showing them do you remember the feeding of the 5,000? The little child brought the fish and the loaves to Jesus. Jesus is the one who broke them and put them into the, the different baskets. The disciples saw that. The disciples then took that blessing and they were the ones to take the baskets out to feed the different people. Can you imagine that situation? 
ሁኔታ ማሰብ ትችላላችሁ Jesus has just shown you something that blew your mind Jesus Christos ያሳያቸው ያሳየ የነበረው ነገር አይምሮን የሚያልፍ ነገር ነው በጣም የሚያስደንቅ ነገር ነበር ያደረገው But now he is giving you a piece of ownership in the process እግዚአብሔር ነገር ግን በዛ ውስጥ ደግሞ ኢየሱስ ክርስቶስ አብሮ የመስራትን የባለቤትነትን ስሜት እንዲኖራችሁ እየሰጣቸው ነበር You get to share the blessing እናንተ ናችሁ ይሄንን በረከት ማካፈል ያለባችሁ ብሎ As you're going around and as you're serving people their meal their lunch ያንን ምግባቸውን ምሳቸውን ይዛችሁ ሄዳችሁ ስታካፍሏቸው They're asking where did you get all this food to be able to feed all these people? ሰዎች በሙሉ እየጠየቁ ነው ከእትኔ መጣው ይሁሉ ምግብ ይሄን ሁሉ ሰው የሚመገብ ምግብ ይያሉ ይጠይቃሉ። And if they were in the back of the crowd and didn't see for themselves ከጀርባ ከዛ حزب መhall ከጀርባ ከጉባዮ ጀርባ መhall የተቀመጡ ቢሆኑ you get to share the opportunity or you get to share what you saw Christ do ካላዩ ከነበረ እንዴት ያታምራት ሲሰራ እንዴት ኢየሱስ ክርስቶስ ያንን ታምራት እንደሰራ ለምን ሀገር እድል አገኘ ማለት ነው and when they eat they taste the blessing of jesus ከዛ ያንን ሲበሉት የኢየሱስ ክርስቶስን በረከት የቀመሱ ነው but that's not it ያ ብቻ ግን አይደለም that's not the end of the process ያ ሂደቱ መጨረሻ ያ ብቻ አይደለም the next thing that we see here በሚቀጥለው ነገር የምናየው ዝውስት is not only instruction መመሪያ ብቻ አይደለም an imitation ከዛ የሱን ህይወት መለማመድ ብቻ አይደለም in this process of discipleship into being fishers of men በሰዎችን በማጥበድ ሂደት ውስጥ ደቀ መዝሙር በመሄድ ሂደት ውስጥ የምንማረው ሌላው ነገር but we get to a point in the gospel of matthew where the disciples have been walking with jesus for a while we get to the point in this gospel of matthew where we see that the disciples have been walking with Jesus for a while. Ka ka Jesus Christos ga abraw sigwazu yeminnaybetin kefel inna yalla. And it says now he has 12 disciples in Matthew chapter 10. Ba Matthew smiraf 10 lay already 10 deqa mezamur tono neba 12 deqa mezamur tono neba. And what he does here now is he gives them ownership over the ministry. በዚህ ክፍል ደግሞ ያገልግሎቱን ያብለክ አላፊነት ሲሰጣቸው እነሱ እንዲረከቡ ሲያደርጋቸው እና ያለ Some of these things that up to this point only Jesus has been doing እስካሁን ድረስ አብዛኛው ነገር ኢየሱስ ብቻ ሲያደርገው ነበር የምናየው in giving authority over unclean spirits and casting them out and healing diseases ከዛ ግን እዚህ ጋር ምናየው ለበሽተኞችን እንዲፈሩ እንዲፈውሱ አጋንንትን እንዲያስወጡ የስልጣን ሲሰጣቸው እና ያለ He now gives those same powers to his disciples ተመሳሳይ የሆነውን ያንኑ ኃይል ለነዚህ ደቀ መዛሙርት ሲሰጣቸው እና ያለ So you've been instructed ተመመሪያ ተሰጥቷችኋል You've seen me do it ሳደርገው አይታችሁኛል You've had a little part in it ከዛ ያንን ሳደርገ ደሞ ትንሽ ክፍል ነበራችሁ እናንተ But now I am giving you the full ability to be able to do this ከዛ አሁን ግን ደሞ ሙሉውን ስልጣን እሰጣችኋለሁ ይሄንን የምታደርጉበት ነው But get this even in that authority ይሄንን ግን አገኙ በዚህ ስልጣን ውስጥ ራሱ ቢሆን You are not doing it on your own. ኢምታደርጉት በራሳችሁ አይደለም. You are still doing it under the authority and in the power of Jesus. ኢምሄንን ኢምታደርጉት በኢየሱስ ክርስቶስ ኃይልና ስልጣን ነው. You're not building your own kingdom. የራሳችሁን መንግስት አይደለም የምትመሰርቱ። Jesus is telling you and equipping you to build his kingdom. ኢየሱስ ክርስቶስ ያሰለጠናችሁና ሲያስተምራችሁ የነበረው ነገር የሱን መንግስት እንዲገነቡ ነው. He is teaching you how to do it and and to do it in your own what we're going to say as intuition or instinct. He's teaching us how to not only instruct and imitate but he's teaching these disciples how to do it on their own intuition on their own instinct. በራሳቸው አውቅስ ካሁን ድረስ ያስተምራቸውና ሲያሳያቸው ነበር አሁን ደግሞ በራሳቸው መንገድ ያዩት ነገር ይያዩና እንዲሞክሩት በራሳቸው ሐሳብና በራሳቸው መንገድ እንዲሞክሩት እድልን እየሰጣቸው ነው but still under his authority and in his power ነገር ግን አሁንም በሱ ስልጣንና በሱ ኃይል so think about this for a minute this morning በዚህ ጠዋት ይሄንን ነገር እስቲያስቡ 
These three things are the process of discipleship that Jesus has walked through for us and will do if you are his disciple. But we've also said that we have a role as believers in Jesus' disciples. That we also, not only is Jesus doing this for us, but as his disciples, we have the role to do this in the life of others. Uh, and as Jesus has called people to salvation in his name, we have the opportunity to invite them into discipleship in his kingdom. To walk alongside them in instruction. To walk alongside them and, and so they can see you and imitate you. And then as you do that, you have the opportunity to see how Jesus equips and empowers them to be able to do the work themselves. Fishers of men. Yeah. So as Jesus has called each of you as, as children of his kingdom, and you are, you know, you're, you're learning in college, you're learning different uh, uh, trades or skills, but God through his Holy Spirit is working in your life to, to find your piece of how you work into his kingdom. Uh, to some of you he may reveal that you need to do the, the work of spreading his gospel and, and discipling others as your full-time job. To others of you, Jesus may say, I want you to use your engineering training. Uh, yeah, or I want you to use your medical training. Yeah, and I want you to continue to pursue those things. But I want you to use them for my kingdom. And not to build your own. As we close, I want you to hear these words from Jesus. At the end of chapter 16 in, the, in, in Matthew, as Jesus has walked with his disciples, he tells them this. If anyone would come after me, let him deny himself and take up his cross and follow me. That's what his disciples did. For whoever would save his life will lose it. But whoever loses his life for my sake will find it. What he's saying here is that if you choose the path of building up your own kingdom, your life in this world will be lost. Because you are not building toward eternal things. Because you are not building toward eternal things. But those of you who lose your life or, or die to self, 
ነገር ግን ራሳችሁን ለመግደልና የራሳችሁን ህይወት ለመኖር ያልመረጣችሁ ሰዎች ራሳችሁን ለመግደል ይመረጣችሁ ለዚህ ዓለም and help me build my kingdom ያንይን መንግስ ለመገንባት ይመረጣችሁ ሰዎች are building something that will last for eternity ያመረጣችሁት ነገር ለዘላለም የህይወታችሁን የማትረፍን መንገድ ነው so what will it profit a man if he gains the whole world so alamun hulu biatarf nafsun gin biatafa min itaqmawal but forfeits his soul nafsun gin biatafa min itaqmawal i want to leave you with those words kanezi qalat ga kezi tiyaqi ga litwachu felgal and with the reality that today you have the choice to either build your own kingdom or to build the kingdom of jesus kezi uneta ga የግራሳችሁን መንግስት ለመገንባት ነው ምትመርጡስ ወይስ የእግዚአብሔርን የክርስቶስን መንግስት ለመገንባት ነው ምትመርጡስ and the reality that jesus tells us that that is if you choose to build your own kingdom on earth in the end you will lose everything የራሳችሁን መንግስት ለመገንባት ከሆነ ምርጫችሁ በመጨረሻ ታጡታላችሁ but ነገር ግን if you choose to build my kingdom የኔን መንግስት ለመገንባት ከመረጣችሁ we will build something that will last for all of eternity zalalemin yemialf lezalalem yemihonen neger abren ingenebalen i invite you into that kingdom wedezza mengist now yetarrahachu yallawot no into that call wedezzi tirri now yetarrachu yallaw because that's where true value lies ya now wagaw mecherasha dress yemihedu let me pray